Hey guys, it's Travis here from rossandmarketing.com and I uh, just wanted to talk about making money with Kindle eBooks. Um, I want to give you five things to consider as you begin down this journey uh, towards publishing on the Kindle eBook store. So let's just get right into it. First of all, you're going to want to choose a topic. Um, there's a lot of mistakes that are made here. Mistake number one is going with your passion. Um, you know, not everybody likes to collect rocks. So um, that's not the best, best choice if you're going to choose a good topic. Mistake number two is choosing a low competition niche. And that's simply because going where the competition is means going where the buyers are. Um, I mean, it's as simple as that. People are ready to buy in those higher competition niches. That's why they're higher competition. So don't waste your time going with either your passion, unless your passion is a high competition niche. But if it's something that doesn't, you know, uh, that people aren't buying in, or there's not a lot of other books on the Kindle bookstore, that should be a clue to you to pick another topic. Increasing your page count is very important. You can do this in a number of ways as you're writing your book. You can use bulleted lists in your content as you're going through. You can also use chapter summaries at the end of your chapters. Just don't overdo it. That's kind of a, can be a red flag. It can also turn off uh, potential, or you can turn off your readers, which could lead to bad reviews. Um, what this does, it not only creates value for the reader, it also increases your pages, which makes your book more attractive. I mean, why would I buy a book with 35 pages on the same subject as a book with 45 pages if they're the same price. I'm probably going to go with the, the, the book that has more, um, more pages because I'm feeling as the reader that I'm getting more value for that. So increase your page count by using those tips. Uh, price pulsing. Pulsing the price actually can increase your sales and reviews. And what this basically is, is basically you, you, you either go to a 99 cent price point or you completely go free. And the idea here is to get a lot more sales when when your book's free or when your book's 99 cents, uh, you'll get a lot more sales than it, than you will when it's 2.99 or 5.99 or 9.99. You'll also, of course, get more reviews because more people are downloading them. It increases your discoverability. Um, you show up on more recommended books and 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 other areas of Amazon's Kindle store that can get eyeballs on your content. And of course, Amazon likes books with reviews, so it makes sense to use this price pulsing. You lower it and you see a down, bunch of downloads and then you raise it back up. You wait a while and you do it again. That's what price pulsing is and it can help you in your marketing. Write a good description. Don't waste your description, guys. Use it like a sales letter. You need to describe the benefits of why these people need to buy your book. Don't write about how great your book is or create an author bio here. Don't talk about yourself. Talk about the benefits to your customers because if a, a buyer lands on this page, you need to sell your book, okay? If they've landed on their, this page, that means they've gone as far as clicking it in the store. You need to sell. This is your opportunity to sell, so don't waste your description. Make it a sales letter. Think of it as a sales letter. You need to sell your book here. And of course, formatting matters. Um, the easiest thing to say is just, you know, while, while Amazon will take PDFs and different format, file formats, just stick with a word processor that can export into a .doc format. Um, it allows you to edit easily in the long term. And if you don't have Microsoft Word or you don't want to pay Microsoft, um, just use OpenOffice. It's free and, and you can avoid that uh, cost of Microsoft World, uh, Word. Want more? Well, first of all, like this video. And yes, that is some shameless self-promotion. Just go ahead and click that like button. You can share it if you'd like. Um, sign up at my site to get a free report on how to take advantage of Pinterest right now because it's all the rage and everybody's doing it. Uh, you can also subscribe to this channel to see when I upload new training videos. And of course, leave a comment below and share your tips. I'd love to see you. Hop on over to rossammarketing.com and say hello. Uh, thanks for watching.